I'm chef de cuisine of uh, this restaurant. It does it does like ten million dollars a year in sales, right? We do like eight million dollars in a la carte sales. We do like two three million in banquet and catering sales on site. And I'm sitting at the desk and I'm like pulling my hair out on food cost percent. It's like a couple points over. I did the inventory, um, and I hope a lot of you, a lot of you may not know what I'm talking about, but you, we'll get into that in just a little bit. But I'm thinking to myself about percentages. Uh, the, the, you know, a percent of sales, a food cost shouldn't be more than 26% of sales for this establishment that I was in. And I kept pulling my hair out. I'm like, how does this place even make money? Like, I can't, you know, if I'm not taking 20, if I'm not taking, you know, this much percent to the bank. Uh, every day for this business and I'm not in a good spot um, and I'm pulling my hair over it and then and then uh, my mentor had ended up coming into the office and he's like what's wrong Billy um, and I and I said to him like I don't get what's going on with these numbers here and, and he's like all right well you know let's take a look at the p-mix and the p-mix is called the product mix it's 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 how much you sell of each item on the menu right so you print it out from the computer how many fillets you sold how many salmon so on and so forth and you saw, you saw like uh, the filet mignon. We sold a whole lot more filet mignon for that for that uh, for that week than we usually do. And there's a lower, there's a there's a higher food cost on that item. And I said, oh well, why don't we just you know why don't we get rid of the filet mignon so we don't have a high food cost because there's a high food cost on it. And he said, no, Billy, listen, what he told me just then in that moment gave me an epiphany about pricing for food. What he said was. You don't take percentages to the bank. You take money to the bank. So at the end of the day, if you want to if, if the the more you want to sell, you want to make more margin is the word. You want to make more margin on the item than you do percentages. So you don't want to think I mean at a 30,000 foot view of your operation when your operation gets big enough, uh, you want to start thinking about percentages. But Understand that percentages aren't everything because you don't take percentages to the bank, you take dollars to the bank. And margin is the difference between the cost of the item and the selling price. And I'd rather sell a filet mignon at a higher food cost percentage and take to the bank 15 to $20, um, even though it's a higher food cost item. Uh, and if you're selling a lower food cost item, let's say a soup, and you're taking home two or three dollars each time you sell a soup. Uh, it doesn't really, you know, amount to much when it comes to the dollars. But the food cost is better. It makes your percentages look better. You can make numbers look like anything. So what would come down to the reason I told you this story is because we want to talk about how much you should charge for your catering. This is specifically targeted to people who want to start their own catering business, especially a home-based catering business. This is for you guys. But this is also for the professionals out there that are having difficulties getting catering business uh, to work for them. It's the most profitable way to make money in, in the hospitality and food service world is catering business. And you know this, and that's why you're listening to this podcast. The way you charge for catering is simple, and it needs to be simple. Because if you make this too complicated for the guest, it's going to, it's going to be detrimental. Um, I, I don't want you going to the guest and saying, um, a lot of you guys starting out, this is what you do. You look up, you research the pricing for the event and how much all the food's going to cost and the uh, paper goods and all that. And you take that number and you show it to the customer and say, here, this is going to, this stuff is going to cost you, you know, $250 for all the food and paper supplies. So that's how much that's going to cost. You pay for that. And I'm going to add $200 on top of that that you're going to give to me. And that'll be the cost of the event. That's not how you charge for catering. Especially if you're just starting out. That's not how you charge for catering. You don't let them pick the cost. You know, you don't let them pay for the cost of the product and then just give you $200 extra on top of that for your labor. You're worth more than that. You get paid $200 for your labor at the restaurant you're working for the chef and for the owner for. 
you don't do your own side catering job and you get a little a couple hundred dollars for it for all your hard work and all your expertise that you get get got through the years so first of all you don't do that so don't think that you can do that anymore if you have been doing that second of all with my people out there who actually do have restaurants and they do have catering companies what you charge for is complicated you charge a certain price per person for this certain package where you get five of these or six of those and a choice of seven of these. Uh, but then you also charge, you know, uh, an additional labor and delivery fee on the side. And then on top of that per person charge, you also have a per hour per person charge. So if you weren't confused already, now you need to consider the dimension of time in the equation of all of this. And that's stupidity. Don't make this a math equation for your customers. The only way you charge for catering events is a per person fee or a flat rate fee plus tax. You don't need to add gratuity unless you're actually, you know, going to be paying your servers out of gratuity. Then you can add gratuity on the side, $150 per server, so on and so forth. But especially if you're just starting out and you're going to be, you know, having your best friend help you out and you're going to give them some cash, just make sure that cash is accounted for in the per person price for the catering event. So how do you calculate a profitable per person price? Because I feel like we all take this, these tangents and actually uh, doing the math uh, because we don't know how to actually do the math and calculate out what we need to charge per person to actually make money. So how do we actually do this? And it's very, very simple. I know a lot of us feel, uh, feel, what's the word, intimidated by math. But you, you, I mean, in order to operate in the real world, you need to learn math. Um, and if you want to operate in the catering business, you need to learn math. But I'm going to make this a little bit easier for you. I'm going to give you something for free and just a little bit that's going to help you out with this. But first of all, you need to figure out how much everything is going to cost you to execute the event. So once you've once your guest has picked out a menu, you take everything you think you're going to purchase for this event, you be a little generous with it, and you put it into the spreadsheet. I call it the menu costing spreadsheet. You can get it in the link below. You sign up for my free training. Once you sign up for that free training, you'll see an email with the uh, menu costing spreadsheet. It does all this math for you. So you take all of the ingredients and all of the quantities that you're going to purchase for this event, and you figure out how much exactly that is going to cost you. You could factor in the labor as well. That spreadsheet helps you do that. And then what you want to do is enter in the amount of people. You'll see that column on the spreadsheet I give you. You wanna figure out how many people it is. So how much is this event gonna cost you per person? So if it's 70 people and if it costs you, uh, I mean, if it costs you $2 per person to feed all these people, which is probably highly unlikely, uh, but let's just say it is for math purposes. If it costs you $2 per person, you're feeding 100 people. You wanna make a profit off of this, don't you? But how much money do you wanna make is the question. In the spreadsheet, I allow you to put in a cost percentage to calculate out the price. And I give you a range to work with. So when it comes to catering, it depends on if you're adding paper supplies and if you're adding labor, you wanna make this percentage higher. But between 25 and 50%, you wanna make the cost of the event. Um, your desired cost of the event between 25 and 50%. 25% if you're only factoring in food, but if you want to plug in labor and paper, then you want to make it to closer to 50%. And what this spreadsheet does, the menu costing spreadsheet that I developed for you, and I'm going to give to you for free if you click the link and sign up for the free training in the description, it'll, it'll tell you how much money you're going to walk away from for this event. You don't take percentages to the bank. Remember what my mentor said, you don't take percentages to the bank you take dollars. So when it's all said and done, you plug in all your cost for this event, it's going to give you a suggested selling price per person. And remember, the only way to price your events is per person. So you tell your customer it's going to cost you $18 per person for this event. Isn't that real plain and simple? Isn't that easy to understand? Not $18 per person per item per hour with an additional labor and delivery charge. Let's not get into that crap. That's not what you do. Simple per person 
per person price. It's simple for them to understand. They're more likely to book with you. And then the spreadsheet also tells you exactly what you're going to take home, exactly how much money you're going to be able to take to the bank at the end of this event when all is said and done. So when you get when you're getting caught up in the math of all this, just use the spreadsheet that I give you for free. It's in the description. You sign up for the free training. I'll send it to you on your email. Use the spreadsheet so you can figure out how much exactly you're going to be taking home in actual dollars to the bank. And you could fiddle with the percentages all you want. I give you a range to work with, and it's good to kind of get an idea of what the industry averages are for percentages. But you need to pay yourself well for the experience for the sales, for the time that you're going to put in, and for the and for the hospitality that you're going to deliver these people. You want to know how much you're actually going to take to the bank. You don't take percentages to the bank, you take dollars to the bank. Sign up for that free training in the description and get the free menu costing spreadsheet right after you sign up and watch the free training. I'll see you on the next podcast.